Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of execution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in the Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open end wrench, a 5 16 nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, a flatless screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve, operated by the control board, allows a measured amount of water into the tub. If the dishwasher doesn't fill with water and there is plenty of water supply to the dishwasher, or there is a crack in the water valve and it's leaking badly, the water inlet valve should be checked and replaced if needed. We're going to open the dishwasher door. So we're going to take out the two screws that holds the uh, dishwasher to the counter. That's a Phillips and I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Now we're gonna pull out the dishwasher from under the counter and start uh, going from side to side slowly. Don't break the door of the hinges. And at this point, I'm gonna grab the, the, the dishwasher on the top and pull it out. So now we're gonna flip over the installation. Just remove it out of the way. Now using the pliers, we're gonna remove the clamp from the fill holes. I'm gonna use the flat blade screwdriver in uh, brute force to remove these fill holes. All right. Some water, obviously. Now we need to remove the clamp. Slide it up as far as you can. Oh, see, we don't need the wind pliers. Come off. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to lift up the tab and pull out the mounting bracket with the uh, water inlet valve together and put it on the side. I'm going to install that uh, wooden block underneath of the dishwasher. So we're going to raise this for convenience. Pull out the water valve and the bracket. It can't go real far because of this uh, wire harness. So next would be disconnecting that wire harness. There is a uh, tab here. I'm going to use my finger. Pull on the tab and remove that uh, plug. Pull the uh, water valve and the hose out far enough so we can work on it. Prepare for the water to be uh, dripped out from this valve. I'm going to lay a towel on the floor. And then using the pliers, we're going to squeeze this clamp and uh, remove it from the joint. Slide it off. And we're going to use the uh, flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to pry this hose off. Careful, don't uh, stick the screwdriver into your finger. All right. And remove the bracket just by sliding it down. All right, now we can remove the uh, water inlet hose by just unscrewing it counterclockwise from the old water inlet valve. 
This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So we can uh, do it uh, either now or we can do it later, but I prefer to do it now. We're going to connect this uh, water inlet hose on the valve. Just uh, screw it on clockwise and tighten it manually. Don't use any tools. That's plenty enough. All right, let's put some uh, liquid soap on the connector to ease the pain. And now we're going to slide on the hose. It's going to be this way. And the clamp. And the secure the hose with the clamp. We're gonna use the pliers. Install the clamp. Slide in the hose. And uh, connect the uh, plug here. And now we can remove the towel and place the mounting bracket on it uh, this this edges goes into the groove on the side of the valve slide the grooves into the uh, cutout and then we can put the bracket in first the top uh, this plate goes inside the base and we're going to press it in so the bottom tab locks it's time to remove the wooden block lift up a dishwasher take it out and place it on the ground i'm going to put some soap on that uh, connector And install the clamp under the hose. And we're going to slide the hose under the water inlet housing. And the clamp goes on next. I can use pliers. I'm going to squeeze it and slide it on. And now I can put the insulation back under these tabs here. Now we need to reinstall the dishwasher, but before doing that, make sure that the drain holes, the water supply line, and the power cable are properly inserted in the divider. Then we can uh, slowly push it back in. If you need to, you can pull uh, the uh, hoses and the cable under the counter, under the sink, before you finally I can install it. All right, now we can open the door and attach the dishwasher to the cabinet. I use the Phillips screwdriver and we can close the door. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten them using 5 8 open ended wrench and then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.